I would like to start off with the plan. Their plan is to have um, prerequisites before a divorce, not before a marriage. So they're basically agreeing with our plan and going against the resolution, saying that they should have premarital and not ones like before divorce. So, okay, also, during Jesse's divorce story, he never clarifies as to what were the reasons his suicidal people died, like, committed suicide, <laughs> or, like, why they, what they divorced over, so I'm just going to assume they were irreconcilable differences, because that's what the majority of people have. Also, they also stated that kids in an abusive household get better after a divorce, which is agreeing as to what we're saying, that kids that are stuck in a like really bad and unhealthy household, divorce is beneficial to them. So why shouldn't they divorce? Also, um, Sean says that um, marriage is devalued, but honestly, if our whole nation is under happiness, and if People aren't happy in a marriage, then they should honestly divorce. Why should they be stuck in this, like, hellhole? Um, okay, so 50% of Americans are unhappy and wish to seek happiness through divorce. Why should they implement uh, the burden of a divorce class to only prolong their unhappiness? The affirmative would like you to believe that their plan will benefit this happiness as well, but the truth of the matter is that couples... Um, are really seeking a long and like healthy marriage uh, would take the premarital classes without a doubt. And overall, the soft issues that they're arguing about can escalate into more concrete ones. Like I stated from the CQ researchers um, quote that they gradually get more harmful to those that are involved. And um, with our premarital plan, which they agree upon, let me just reiterate that, that um, they're, they're stopping the soft issues that they're, so the, the soft issues um, that are blown up in a marriage. So don't force what should be divorced and vote negative. Okay.